Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to apply a noise gate to a voiceover session or perhaps an interview with long silences in with precise accuracy using the brand new preview editor in Adobe Audition CC. Now, a typical workflow that's quite complicated for this is to go through, select all the silences, go to the effects menu, hit silence, or thankfully I've got it on a hotkey so I could go through and just hit the Q button. But as you can see, I'm not being very accurate, and really, in all honesty, I might actually cut off some of the voice. So not always a great idea. Let's undo those edits I've made and open up the spectral frequency display so I can see that there actually is noise in the silent parts. And yes, there is. That's indicated by the purple and red speckles there, where you can see in the waveform view hardly any audio is showing at all. So... What I need to do now to get this looking nice and black and silent is apply a noise gate. Let's go into the effects rack, amplitude and compression, dynamics processing, and select the preset noise gate at 20 dB. Now, if I move this over here and hit the brand new show preview editor button on Adobe Audition CC, I'll be able to see a before and after view. And as you can see in the after view, there is pretty much no noise there whatsoever. Let's check some other areas like over here where there's a long silence. Again, you can see red and purple speckles in before and after it's been totally cleaned up. Now, I might just want to move this over a little bit. You'll suddenly see the speckles reappear. So what I'm aiming to do to set this noise gate with precise accuracy is just move this over enough to make those speckles disappear in the preview editor. Nearly gone. And a little bit more. Tiny bit more and now all those speckles have gone. That means I'll get the best out of my noise gate without affecting the voice directly. And one thing you can do is go into the settings on your dynamics processing and reduce the release time. Notice if I pull this right the way up, watch what happens in the preview editor. It directly affects part of the voice. Now if I pull it all the way down to zero milliseconds, you have the maximum amount of voice, perhaps with a little bit of noise seeping through there, but it's better to set your gate less aggressively than more aggressively if you want to preserve as much of the voice as possible. Then cross out of Dynamics Processing and zoom out, hit Apply, exit the Preview Editor, and there is your new voiceover session with silences in between the spoken areas. If you'd like to get my free presets for voiceover production and learn more about Adobe Audition, click the link in the description to this video.